Hey YouTube, Axel Fireflurry here. Today we have another My Top 6 Favorites. Now today we're going to be talking about Dark Types. Now before we get started, I do want to make two happy birthday shoutouts to Harry Potter and Neville Longbottom. Yes, I am a Potterhead, and because it's Harry Potter Day, I'm going to try to watch as many of the Harry Potter movies as I can. Try not to make too many jokes there. Okay, so with that being said, we're going to go on to Dark Types. Now I do realize that I used this card upload in my last video. And it was just more of a sneak preview and I, for you guys to see what we're going to be talking about next. I'm probably not going to do that ever again, because I may not have a need. I hope I don't have a need to have an Easter egg, or whatever the case may be. But I wanted filler, and I wanted an Easter egg. Now, like I said, we're going to go through dark types. So these are going to be for strange, personal, and sentimental reasons. So, Please don't be offended if one of your Pokemon doesn't make the list. I'm trying to only limit myself to six, because we could be here all day with all the dark types that I find awesome. But there is a bit of a feels at the end, so grab a box of tissues and a sleep to dry your nose on. With that being said, let's go on to number six, Absol. Now, Absol and I sort of share a weird similarity where we kind of... When I was in high school, I... Near, really didn't talk to anyone outside of my social group or a teacher on a school assignment. But if I went up to talk to somebody, it was usually for their benefit. And by their benefit, it's usually I'd be walking around and I'd notice, hey, isn't she dating him or he dating her? Why are they have dating this other person? So I'd usually just go up and warn them and say, hey, this person's bad news you should probably stay away from, which is kind of like what Absol does, only appears when a natural disaster comes. Now, another similarity this Pokemon has with me, and maybe one or two other Pokemon on this list, is I actually acquired the nickname the Loyal Guard Dog back when I was in junior high or high school. Just because I'm willing to do anything and everything I can to take care and protect the people I care about and my friends. So if you're one of my friends, or even a subscriber, I mean just anyone in general, I'm willing to do anything I can to help you out. So if you have a problem, you know what? Feel free to drop me a line. We'll just chat about life or Pokemon. We'll talk about anything. Talk about lunch. Lunch sounds good. It's like noon here and I didn't have lunch. But back to Absol. <laughs> but I mean, he's a cool Pokemon. He even has a great Mega Evolution, which I was kind of glad that he has. And his uh, Mega Evolution ability is just absolutely amazing. So, Absol, you get number six. Number five, Darkrai. Darkrai is arguably in the top position for my favorite legendary along with a normal, along with another legendary. Now, the thing I like about Darkrai is a weird sentimental reason. Now, when I was in high school, I'll the reason I didn't talk to anybody is because a lot of the school, like, thought I was some crazy serial killer or whatever. I actually got expelled for reading Death Note manga, which I thought was kind of hilarious. But, whatever. But the thing I like about Darkrai is just like Darkrai, everyone thought I was this evil, wicked thing trying to just kill everybody. But, but in reality, I actually ended up doing everything I could to make people's lives better, and winning to bend over backwards, I mean, I'm still winning to bend over backwards and do everything I can to just help anybody and everybody. It's just who I am. I love to help, and it, I just feel horrible if I can't do anything. So, just like Darkrai, I, I'm willing to just sacrifice myself for the sake of another person. And, I mean, if that's not a good reason, then I'm sorry that's not a good reason to like Darkrai. I try and I don't even use Darkrai that much in competitive play anymore, which I guess is kind of a good thing. But with that being said, let's move on to number four, Umbreon. Now, another fun fact for about me, I was actually engaged at a time, and we actually planned on having an Umbreon Espeon-themed wedding, which actually does sound kind of cool still. But, heads up, I did like this Pokemon before I was engaged, and the relationship didn't turn out too well. Actually, she ended it, like, three days before the wedding, which I I actually kind of laugh at. But Espeon is a, it's a cute Pokemon, and if it were a real animal, I would probably want one as a pet. It's my favorite evolution. I want to start using Umbreon more and more in my teams. I just want to find proper Pokemon to go with it and complement it. 
But I really don't have much else to say. I mean, I have my romantic, sentimental reasons to like it, but I'm really over the girl. Heads up, because, I mean, she was a cheater and doesn't understand commitment, obviously. But never mind her. Umbreon, you clearly have earned a space on this. Number three, Mighty Yenna. Now, just like uh, Absol, I really don't have anything else to say just because... Loyal Guard Dog! He's a dog! I, like I said, I really don't have anything else to say about him. I mean, he I don't think he has that great of a move pool. His stats aren't that great. He's just a Loyal Guard Dog. And, yeah, he kind of looks like a wolf. And when I was growing up, I wanted to be cool. And everybody who was cool thought wolves were the favorite were the best animal to have as a favorite. Now, if the wolf is your favorite animal, I'm not making fun of you. I'm making fun of some of the kids I grew up with. So, heads up, I'm not attacking you. I'm slightly picking on the people I grew up with. It's like, yeah, we're hardcore. My favorite animal is the wolf. I'm deep and meaningful. Blah ha ha. But that being said, we're just gonna move on. We're 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 done here. Okay, with number three no two, Zoroark. Now, I really don't have any, anything to say for this number two spot. Zoroark, you... I mean, I've seen him be used in competitive play, but... All I can think about when I see him being used is the scene in Spaceballs, where the princess comes out because she thinks her she hears her father. It turns out to be Dark Helmet, and he says, Ha ha, fool you. I wish I had that clip, but I mean, that's really all... Just... Just for comedic relief, he reminds me of Spaceballs, just because he can change his form to the last Pokemon in your slot. Now, with that being said, we're moving on to the number one slot, Stunky. Now, the, this is a weird Pokemon. Now, here's why I like Stunky so much. I had a cat who kind of looked like Stunky. I had him for about 15 years. He was probably one of my best friends. He was always there for me, and unfortunately, he did pass away just just about like a month, a month and a half ago. And no, he actually died earlier this month. Now that I think about it, but I mean, it was really hard watching him go. And as I was actually afraid to that, I was going to forget my own cat, my own pet. So I looked on the GTS, and I actually gave up a legendary. I gave up, yeah, I gave up a Latias for for the Stunky because I wanted to breed one in memorial of my cat, Coda, who was born like the day, yeah, the same day Brother Bear came out, which is why he has the name Coda. But, I mean, I just loved my cat a lot, and looking at him, at Stunky, it does remind me of my cat. He does kind of look like it, with the chubbiness and the little chubby cheeks, but... That's really all I have to say about Stunky, because I don't want you guys to be all sad, and I don't want to get sad, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this top six slot. I'm going to try to upload again next week. So, I guess I have nothing else to say. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.